Michael Coppola, executive chef at Yale Haven Hospital. I am a student. 17 years I've lived in the city. I'm definitely a hands-on uh, mm -hmm. chef. I always love working with food. And it's been something that I have passion about. I always want to eat. I'm always starving. I'm always hungry. I eat at the school cafeteria. I'm bored with the cafeteria all the time. So are most people. Because I work for a hospital, I would think that they would try to be more healthy. I was in restaurants that said, don't go to corporate. It's like a graveyard. But it, was, it wasn't like that. There is a little leeway, and you can be creative. Eating the same thing over and over again, like I definitely get bored. It's, it's amazing how we get into some sometimes ruts. Eating boring food is like doing time in prison. I try to make my lunches exciting, but it, it can be kind of difficult. Because it is challenging here in the hospital to to come up with menu items. What it makes it boring is it has no flavor at all. There needs to be elements, layers of different flavors. In no way do I ever want one flavor to dominate. I like my stuff to be juicy. Full flavored with a, with a richness. I don't want to have really anything on the line that's, that's bland. Color is very important. Mm -hmm. With your eyes first. Yeah. Colors and textures. But I do like a little bit of spice. Let's spice it up a little. You have to like start spicing it up. Color, flavor, spice. I try to work out regularly. I try and eat um, healthy. I've been following Weight Watchers for two years. I like a, a healthier lunch. They want healthy. But when you make them healthy, you can't make them boring. You can be creative with healthy food. It's also very easy to fall into the bland trap. So that's frustrating. <laughs> because the things that give fl flavor and texture are oftentimes the things that are not so healthy for you. If I can get good flavor in spices and not with all the fattening stuff to get it, I love that. You know, salsa comes to mind. From a culinary perspective, it's full of flavor. Oh, the tomato, the garlic. The freshness, the lemon juice, or the lime juice, the cilantro. It's low in calories and low in fat and full of flavor. Salsa's not fattening, so what I try to do is take one chip and put like this much salsa on it. It's a great texture. It's very versatile. Salsa and boring? See, I would never find that boring. First of all, salsa actually always looks cool. If salsa could talk, I'd say it'd say, um, I'm fun, I'm exciting. I'm here. Now the party's starting. Ta -da! <laughs> you know, come shake your body, baby. Do that tongue. Oh, that makes me happy. I'm like, yes, yes, it's hot. I will always try new salsas. Oh, we could use this. The flavor is really good. It doesn't taste like something that's store bought. Ooh, I like that. And I like the chunks. The um, pico de gallo is great. It actually got some a little bit of bite, so it doesn't seem like it's all overcooked or over processed. Very fresh and vegetable-y. There's a, a complexity to the flavor. It's got a pop to it. I would definitely give that a whirl because the flavor again is so pronounced. See, this would be perfect on a sandwich. Oh, I put it on salad. Rice. Salsa verde is my favorite, and I put that on everything. Pico de gallo is great with eggs. This would be nice on a chicken breast seasoned with cumin and um, cilantro and pan seared, or for fish. Actually, marinate them overnight in it. Inside a roast pork loin. If there were a variety of salsas in my cafeteria at work, I would be very happy. It will make a big difference. We do produce um, a lot of food. We feed about a thousand, we serve about a thousand breakfasts and about um, 18 to 2,000 lunches. You're trying to, you're looking for things to put on the menu. Again, to keep it consistent, you go to more towards convenience. But a lot of times I can't get it to fit in the diets. I didn't think we could produce all fresh salsa, so we haven't bought salsa. And a lot of people are more used to that too. Sometimes you gotta watch that if you make something fresh, they're not used to, a lot of people aren't used to a fresh salsa. If it's a, if it's a salsa that we think is better than what we're making or is good or, or it's more efficient than what we can do ourselves, then certainly. Um, it's more cost effective to do something like that, uh, you know, and add to it instead of buying a $50 case of tomatoes. We, the perception is, and we want them to believe that everything is made from scratch, but in reality, some things are purchased. You know,